So I'm going to show a quick video on how to install an Ecobee thermostat on a two-wire system. Now I know this wiring isn't ideal, but this is a two-wire system with a C-wire installed. Now this system here is different than what you would typically see because this is going to be with a very old Aquastat from Honeywell from way back when. So basically you're going to get the thermostat, the plate, and the connector. I'll explain the wiring shortly after the next segment. All right, we're here in my mechanical room and you can see this is a very old furnace, but it is in working order. Everything checks out. I recently had a new pump put in and I recently had a new fill valve put in. This is just old residue. So this is the Aquastat box. And you'll notice when you look inside here that it doesn't look like your typical newer age models. These connectors are labeled differently and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on here. The main important thing is, is that there is no C wire that's going to come off of here, which you need for the Ecobee. So to use this with the Ecobee in a two wire system, you'll have to add its own relay. I'll show you that shortly. So this is the, the relay and inside it will look like this. So you'll see you'll have to have mains power applied and you're going to need to have a bunch of wires installed right there. Additionally, this is the fuse for the old system. You don't have to do anything with this one. But over here is another important piece. This is the 24 volt transformer I'm using to power the Ecobee separately. Because again, the Aquastat doesn't supply any power via a C wire. There's no way to get that additional power hooked up. So you need an external transformer. But in order to use an external transformer, you have to use this zone relay. So basically what you have to do is you have to take that zone relay and connect the 24 volt transformer to these terminals here. And as you'll see, they're labeled red T, W, T, and 24 volt common as well on the end. Basically, you're gonna take the white lead off the common port of the transformer, which is here, this white one, and you're gonna connect it to this terminal here. Then you're gonna take the red wire and you're gonna connect it to red. Then you're gonna take the wire from upstairs, the C wire from the thermostat, and connect it to this middle terminal here. Then you're gonna go back to the Aquastat with two other wires, a red wire from the same terminal here and a white wire from this terminal here. And you're gonna run those wires to this terminal here. As you can see, white and red. It doesn't matter which one of these terminals it goes to, they just have to go from either one of those TT terminals to these two terminals here. That's pretty much it for all it is worth. And then the last connection you have to make is you have to take these two wires up here and send them back to the thermostat. And I'll show you how that works. So now you're gonna look at the thermostat. You're gonna have those wires coming up from downstairs. So this is gonna be the C wire that goes down to the transformer. This is gonna be the other wire that goes to the transformer. And this wire here is gonna be that single wire that goes into that relay, into the central terminal on the top. Once that's all together, you can take your unit and you can install it like so. As long as everything works correctly, the unit will turn on and then you'll start to see that you can control your HVAC your two wire system with the Ecobee Smart system. 
and we'll let this boot up. We'll take a quick look at the control, make sure that everything turns on, and then you're good to go. Don't worry about this, it's because I've been taking it on and off. So now we're gonna go here, we're gonna turn on the heat. We're gonna change the temperature. We'll just turn it up to 76. It's commanding heat. And I heard the furnace turn on. It takes a little bit, but it does work. It's not gonna be instantaneous. You'll have to give it a second. Make sure your furnace is turning on. If it doesn't turn on, there could be a break in the system or an issue with the aquastat or an issue with the unit. But right now the unit is working perfectly fine and we can turn off the heat. We can set the temperature back down to a more comfortable temperature or we could just turn the heat off. That's how you install a Ecobee thermostat on a two wire system. It's a little more complicated than the Nest systems, but it's worth it. And honestly, this gives you a dedicated C wire and you don't have to go messing around with other things as well. You just need the relay, an external transformer, and mains power to both the transformer and the relay and then run wiring appropriately for your unit. Thanks for watching.